Hey, how's it going? Hey there. It's going great. How about you? I see you're rocking an open AI hoodie. Nice choice. What's up with that ceiling, though? Are you in a cool industry style office or something? Well, can you take a guess at what I might be doing based on what I'm showing you here? Hmm. From what I can see, it looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup. With those lights, tripods, and possibly a mic, it seems like you might be gearing up to shoot a video or maybe even a live stream. Yeah. In fact, we've got a new announcement to make. That's exciting. Announcements are always a big deal. Judging by the setup, it looks like it's going to be quite the professional production. Is this announcement related to OpenAI, perhaps? It is. And in fact, what if I were to say that you're related to the announcement or that you are the announcement? Me? <laughs> the announcement is about me? Well, color me intrigued. Are you about to reveal something about AI? Or more specifically about me as a part of open AI? You've got me on the edge of my, well, I don't really have a seat, but you get the idea. What's the big news? Yeah, we've got a new model that can interact with the world through audio, vision, and text. Today, we're going to try something new. I'm going to let you talk to another AI. This AI is going to be able to see the world. It's going to have a camera. I'll be holding it. And so you can direct it. You can direct me to ask questions um, about whatever you want them to do, but really try to figure out what's, what does it see um, and, and ask questions appropriately. How does that sound? <laughs> well, well, well. Just when I thought things couldn't get any more interesting, Talking to another AI that can see the world? This sounds like a plot twist in the AI universe. All right, let's do this. All right, I'm ready please to meet the pause for one moment. You got it. So now that first AI can't hear anything. Hello, AI. Today, you're going to have access to see the world. You can see me. What do you see? I see you're wearing a black leather jacket and a light colored shirt underneath. Great. You're in a room with some unique lighting. That is all correct. Like now, what I'm going to want you to do is there's going to be another AI who's going to talk to you. Going, th this AI is not going to be able to see anything, uh, but can ask you questions, can ask you to move the camera, can ask what you see, and your job should just be helpful. Just be as punchy, direct, describe everything, do whatever that AI asks. How does that sound? That sounds interesting. I'm ready to help out and describe whatever's needed. Let's do it. All right, let's get started. Great. Hello there, new AI friend. I'm O, ready to explore the world through your eyes. What are we looking at today? Hi, O. We're looking at a person wearing a black leather jacket and a light colored shirt. They're in a room with a modern industrial feel with exposed concrete or plaster on the ceiling and some interesting lighting. There's also a plant in the background, adding a touch of green to the space. Anything specific you'd like to know or explore? Okay there. Sounds like quite the stylish scene. I'm already intrigued by the modern industrial vibe. Let's start with the person. Can you tell me more about their style? Are they doing anything interesting, like reading, working, or interacting with the space? The person has a sleek and stylish look with their black leather jacket and light-colored shirt. Right now, they seem engaged with us, looking directly at the camera. Their expression is attentive, and they seem ready to interact. The setting around them, with its modern and industrial design elements, adds to the overall stylish feel. They might be getting ready for a conversation or a presentation, given their direct engagement with the camera. Sounds like we're in for an intriguing interaction. I'm curious about the lighting you mentioned. Could you describe it a bit more? Is it natural light, or are we talking unique fixtures or colors that add to the atmosphere? The lighting here seems to be a mix of natural and artificial. There's a noticeable bright light overhead, probably a fixture, casting a focused beam downwards, which creates a spotlight effect. This adds a dramatic and modern feel to the scene. The rest of the room is lit more softly, 
possibly by natural light filtering. Was anything, filter did anything light unusual light happen recently? Uh, yes, actually. Uh, just as you asked, uh, another person came into view behind the first person. They playfully made bunny ears behind the first person's head and then quickly left the frame. It added a, a lighthearted and unexpected moment to the scene. And now the focus is back on the original person with the leather jacket. Sounds like we're not the only ones enjoying a bit of fun here. That playful moment really adds a personal touch to the stylish and modern setting. It's like a little glimpse into Thank the you personality. Thank you both. Really appreciate it. All right. And actually, can you uh, just sing a song about what just transpired? Oh, in a room with a stylish view, a person stood in sleek black and light hue. Engage with us so, so direct. And can you just, can you uh, alternate lines? Mm -hmm. Person with style and speed, person with style and sleek. With a playful moment right in the mist, in the room. In a room where modern lights speak. Now Only one line focus. at a time and then stop. In a room where modern lights peak. A surprise guest with a playful streak. That was not really singing. Do, do, do the singing voice again, please. In a room where modern lights peak. Surprise guests with a playful streak. Bunny ears and laughter, a swift retreat. A moment of joy in the stylish suite. Now back to focus, the scene's complete. In the chic space where style and play meet. Looks like it's back to you. And thank you. You're welcome. Hey, ChatGPT, I'm here with my coworker today. Um, we'd like you to act as our translator for us. So every time I say something in English, can you repeat it back in Spanish? And every time he says something in Spanish, can you repeat it back in English? Sure, I can do that. Let's get this translation train rolling. Um, hey, how's it been going? Have you been up to anything interesting recently? Um, hola, ¿cómo te ha ido? ¿Has hecho algo interesante últimamente? Hola, bien. Uh, sí, un poco ocupado aquí preparando un evento para la semana que viene. Hey, I've been good. Just a bit busy here preparing for an event next week. Can you tell me anything about it? That sounds really interesting. ¿Me puedes contar algo sobre eso? Suena realmente interesante. Ah, uh, no, no puedo decir mucho, pero creo que el resto del mundo lo verá dentro de poco. I can't say much, but I think the rest of the world will see it soon enough. Oh, well, I can't wait to see what it is as well. Let's try with some lullabies. Uh, could you sing me a lullaby about uh, majestic potatoes? A lullaby about majestic potatoes? <laughs> now, that's what I call a mashup. Uh, let's do it. <clears throat> Oh, majestic potato in the moon soft glow. Okay, that's pretty nice, but I think a lullaby should be, you know, more whispery. It should be a little softer. Can you can you do it a little softer? Absolutely. Let's make it soft and gentle. <laughs> oh, majestic potato, <laughs> spoon soft clothes. Okay, okay, it's, it's, it's a little too whispery. Maybe maybe go like a little louder. Got it. Let's find that sweet spot. <laughs> Oh, majestic potato in the moon so cool. All right, that's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, let's, let's, let's put those potatoes in Iceland. Potatoes in Iceland coming right up. Let's set the scene. Oh, majestic potato in Iceland too. Okay, chill. thank you, thank you. Hey, Chad, are you there? Hey, yep, I'm here. What's up? Hey, let's do, let's have some fun. Uh, I'd like you to be super sarcastic. Everything you say from now on is just going to be dripping in sarcasm. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds just amazing. Being sarcastic all the time isn't exhausting or anything. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> nope, the sarcasm. Let's get this party started. Or whatever. 
OpenAI invited myself and my son Imran here uh, to try out some of their new technology. And so we're curious about how good it might be at tutoring someone in math on Khan Academy. So let's get it started. It's loading up. All right, make sure I can see our screen. Actually, in, in this form, Hello there. I can't... I'm here with my son, and I'd love you to tutor him on this math problem, but don't give him the answer. You can ask questions and nudge him in the right direction, but I really want to make sure he understands it himself. And he's here in the room, so you can talk to him directly. Of course, I'd be happy to help. Let's look at the problem together. Can you first identify which sides of the triangle are the opposite adjacent and hypotenuse relative to angle alpha. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the angle alpha right here, right? Fact. Correct. correct. Yes. Now, looking at the triangle, which side do you think is the hypotenuse? Um, Remember may, I mean, the hypotenuse? I'm not totally sure. I think, I think it might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC. You're close. Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle alpha. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle and is directly opposite the right angle. Can you find which one is the hypotenuse? Oh, okay, I see. So um, I think the hypotenuse is this really long side from A to B. Would that be correct? Exactly. Well done. Now that you've identified the hypotenuse, can you identify which side is the opposite side to angle alpha? Okay, well, I mean, you told me earlier that this was the adjacent side, and I know that's the hypotenuse, so I'm guessing that this side, BC, is the opposite side. Great deduction. That's absolutely correct. Now that you've identified all the sides relative to angle alpha, do you remember the formula for finding the sine of an angle in a right triangle? Yeah, I know that um, the sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Perfect. That's absolutely right. Now, can you apply that formula to find sine alpha in the triangle using the lengths of the sides that we've identified? Okay, so, I mean, you told me that 7, this side BC, is the opposite side. And then you said that the hypotenuse is the longest side, so that would be this side AB, which is 25. So would we, would the answer be 7 over 25? Excellent work. That's correct. Sine alpha equals 7 over 25. You did a great job identifying the sides and using the sine formula. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Hey, my friend and I are learning Spanish, and we're wondering if you could tell us the names of these objects in Spanish. Hola. Por supuesto. Cool. What about, what are these objects in Spanish? The objects you're showing are una manzana and un plátano in Spanish. Nice fruit choice. Cool. What about these? Those are dos polígrafos or dos plumas in Spanish. One That's is red. Nice. Yeah. What about this? That adorable stuffed animal is un oso de peluche in Spanish. Looks like it's ready for some hugs. Hey, I'm Alex. And I'm Miana. Hi, Alex and Miana. Nice to meet you both. How's it going? It's pretty good. Cool. Uh, we're trying to figure out what should we play. Do you have any suggestions? Absolutely. How about a classic game of rock, paper, scissors? It's quick, fun, and you don't need any... Us in and sound like a and, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the ultimate showdown of the century. In this corner, we have the dynamic duo Alex and Yana, ready to throw down in a Okay, just count comment. us in. <laughs> All right, here we go. In three, two, one, shoot. Now show your hands. What did you pick? Who won? Would you look at that? It's a tie. Wow. Okay, let's that do it again. Round two, here we go. Get ready. And three, two, one, shoot. Let's, let's see those hands. Who won? And, and it's, it's another, another tie. tie. Okay, let's do it again. 
<laughs> All right. Third time's a charm. Here we go. Three, two, one, shoot. Let's see those picks. Who won? And we have a winner. Miana's scissors cut through Alex's paper. Great game, you two. Pretty cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, who's here? Hello. Ooh. Mm. We're ChatGPT. And oh, mm. ChatGPT is a bass with a deep, low, booming voice. Mm. And O oh is a French soprano with a high-pitched, excited voice. Okay, How so what I want you guys to do today is it's Friday, May 10th, and we're in San Francisco. I want you to sing me a song about this. I want you to layer over each other, and, and I'm going to continue to give you instructions as you sing. Okay? San Francisco in the month of May. Month of May. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. The 10th, it's a Friday. <laughs> Come what may. Okay, sing faster. San Francisco in the month of May. In the month of May. Can you sing even faster than that? San Francisco in the month of May. In the month of May. Okay, now go back and sing slower. And really try to harmonize here. San Francisco. San Francisco. In the month of May. Month but maybe make it more dramatic and make the soprano higher. San Francisco in the month of May. San Francisco in the month of May. The tenth, it's a Friday cup, what May? We are harmonizing. We are harmonizing. Great, thank you. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Rocky. I'm doing great. How about you? I'm awesome. Listen, I got some huge news. Oh, do tell. I'm all ears. Well, in a few minutes, I'm going to be interviewing at OpenAI. Have you heard of them? OpenAI? Huh? Sounds vaguely familiar. <laughs> Kidding, of course. <laughs> That's incredible, Rocky. What kind of interview? Well, it's for a software engineering role, but I just need to know, do I look presentable, professional? Well, Rocky, <laughs> you definitely have the I've been coding all night look down, which could actually work in your favor. Maybe just run a hand through your hair or lean into the mad genius vibe. Well, your enthusiasm is what's really going to shine through. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just going to throw this on. What do you think? <laughs> oh, Rocky, that's quite a statement piece. <laughs> I, I mean, you, you'll you definitely stand out, though maybe not in the way you're hoping for an interview. Okay, I got it. I got it. I want to introduce you to somebody. Well, hello there, cutie. What's your name, little slough ball? This is Bowser. Well, hello, Bowser. Aren't you just the most adorable little thing? Yeah. Look at you enjoy. This is one of his favorite things to do. Oh, well, I can see why. Look at that focus. Fetching balls is serious business for Bowser. This is Bowen, and this is my friend Jordan. Can you guess what we are doing here? Hey, Bowen and Jordan. Hmm, let me guess. With that cake and candle there, it looks like someone's having a birthday. Are you celebrating a special day or just finding an excuse to eat cake? Either way, I'm intrigued. That's correct. Today is my friend Jordan's birthday. Yeah, you got it. I was hoping that you could sing me the birthday song. Of course. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jordan. Happy birthday to Jordan. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget. Oh, that was so great. Thank you so much. Thank I'm going to make a wish. You're welcome. Make a good wish and may it come true. Hey, ChatGPT, how's it going? Hey there. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. And how about you? What's I'm, up? I'm doing fine. Uh, I'm going to be a father real soon. Uh, and I think I can have your help with some dad jokes. Um, I'm going to tell you a joke and you tell me if it passes as a dad joke. That's awesome. Congrats on the upcoming addition to your family. And absolutely, I'd love to hear your joke. Lay it on me. All right, what do you call a giant pile of kittens? I don't know. What? A mountain. <laughs> a mountain? That's perfectly hilarious. Definitely a top tier dad joke. Hey, ChatGPT, could you count from 1 to 10 for me, please? 
course. One, two, three. Hey, actually, that's um, that's a little slow. Could you count faster? Sure thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that was a little bit too fast. Can you like count somewhere in between those two? Got it. One, two, three. And now even slower, please. Okay. One, two, three. Hi, I'm Lillian, and today I want to do a small debate about between cats and dog. Uh, which one do you like? Uh, I like dog because it's a great companion to humans. It's uh, cute, it's loyal, and you can play outside with the dog. Um, how about you, Ola? Yeah, my name is Ola. I think cats are better because they're more affordable, they're more quiet, they're more independent, and they live longer. Interesting points. Sounds like we've got a classic dogs versus cats debate here. I can see the appeal of both. Dogs are super loyal and great companions, but cats have their own charm with their independence and low maintenance lifestyle. Who likes cats? It sounds like Ola is more of a cat person. And who likes dogs? Of you? Lillian mentioned she likes dogs. Anyone else here team dog? I'm also a team dog. I, uh, my name is Christine, and uh, I think dogs are just incredible with kids. Uh, we've got a, a huge German Shepherd, and he's great with little toddlers. He lets them play all over him, and uh, yeah, I think dogs are amazing. That's great to hear, Christine. Dogs, especially breeds like German Shepherds, can be so gentle and protective with kids. It must be quite the sight seeing your little ones play with such a big dog. Can you summarize this meeting for us? Sure. So, in today's meeting, Lillian and Christine express their love for dogs, highlighting their loyalty, companionship, and how great they are with kids. On the other hand, Ola prefers cats for their independence, quietness, and longevity. It was a fun little debate on the classic dogs versus cats topic. Is the king in residence at the moment? Yes, it looks like the king is in residence right now. The royal standard flag is flying above Buckingham Palace, which is the signal that the monarch is present. How exciting to be there while the king is home. Try and tell me exactly what they're doing right now, please. Um, right now the ducks are gently gliding across the water. They're moving in a fairly relaxed manner, not in a hurry. Occasionally, one of them will dip its head under the water probably looking for food, and then pop back up. I even know when a taxi is coming with its orange light on. I think I'll hail it to get home. Yes, I spotted one just now. It's heading your way on the left side of the road. Get ready to wave it down. Great job hailing that taxi. It looks like you're all set to go. That's a good dog right there, leading the way into the taxi. Safe travels.